My name is Muna Sahmonis. I charge for the tomorrow's workshop for the painted yes. child or decorative child. But uh, today, uh, as your husband and wife, we share this project. <laughs> First of all, I say, uh, Kadın Pur ve Musa Bizar'da ve yani ustaların önünde çalışma yapmaya endişeleniyorum, heyecanlıyım ve en önemlisi ilginç şey bu çalıştayda tanıştılar, buluştular ve konuşurken dedeleri birbiriyle düzenlemiş. I will give you some general information about this. The, this workshop is going to be uh, run. The The second part, you will try to the 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 And the third part, we have pre-cut according to that plans in front of I think you have seen it. Something like this. Have you ever seen it? Pieces of small pieces of ayrı ayrı parçaları bir araya desen oluşturan bir işlem morak. They can be simple geometric cut Çok patterns, basit bir like this, or they may be floral, like this. Ya da ayrı ayrı böyle bir parçalar da olabilir. Arabesque or geometric patterns. So, muarak tile is consists of, I mean, consists of small chips. Ceramic chips. And they are arranged and put together. They are attached 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 together. They are not fully attached together. They are attached together. They are the main difference between the Persian type of Muarak tile and the English and Muarak tile is the traditional Iranian art is the art that they are used from their negative side, there is a map. There are numbers, numbers, they put the holes, and then, and then they cut them, I will explain later, they put them on the top, they cut them, and then they have some marks to and they make the whole part of this way. And this art, is considered a luxurious art because it's very expensive in terms of manpower required. It is one of those forgotten arts that are common to be used. It is luxurious. For example, in Iran, there are very limited number of, I mean, perhaps only ten families who are still doing this art. Iran, da, sadece on ailenin bu bununla bu bilirler, sılan bilirler ve işlerinde ustalık, ustalık olarak uygulayan uygulayanlar. That's why I choose this topic. We have put up two other decorations, but this one I think is considered not for us. The raw material for making these tiles includes the colors, not all colors, are red. 
like this. This tile so maybe the glaze like this is the color or they may be the rough like, like the other side, but not yeah, this one. Uh, but, uh, and also gold color, white, a limited number of colors that I brought some samples here. It requires a the five. Yeah, you cannot imagine these small flowers in these parts. The small flowers were all by hand and together and one of the good points uh, about this um, type of tiling is that it is more durable it's very strong. Uh, I will tell you later that how they make this one, but compared to other uh, types of tiling, for example, this tiling also has Another highlight is that they have a map that they have put the tiles over this map from their negative side. They put it upside down. And in case the pattern is very large, they divide it into smaller squares and make square squares for them when they put it. And they have a, a flat surface, a glass or a gypsum flat surface. And when they put it like this, for example, suppose that there is map under this. So the and, the the tiles, and then you use uh, some uh, wires uh, or ropes uh, to uh, make uh, it stronger. Uh, it's uh, like uh, the composite. Uh, 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 this one can also be handled uh, 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 getting a port. I will explain the steps. Uh, first of all, the pattern should be designed and the colors should be decided. For example, for this one, this is a pattern. It's a very long one. And then they are glued with a special glue that you will have on your tables. Uh, the solvent is water. So that when the, everything is done, you can wash it and uh, they don't stick again to the uh, steel uh, to the tile and they will remove very easily. They are uh, glued to the surface of the tile. You have the numbers here. So there. Therefore, when you want to rip the position, you put it this way on this manual. Then using these hatchets, it is cut out. For example, first, the main parts are cut. Then you come to the smaller details. And then finally, using this file, the rough parts are And this step, I mean, this this required several steps to cut the bigger parts and then make it smaller and detailed, more detailed, and then uh, filing the rough sides and desired. I mean, this this is the one. One. For example, if you want to cut this part, you this hatchet. And then the next part is categorizing them because consider a whole dome and uh, around it and a lot of green, a lot of blue, for example, uh, based on the um, colors and numbers, they provide these millions of pieces. And, and then you need this uh, working flat surface to put these upside down. Uh, according this to the plan, and sometimes when, for example, this one, your plan is uh, not transparent, they use uh, oil to be transparent and put it in the other side. And then it is done. Yeah. And then it is done. 
You have to put the wire and put the rope. And gypsum is that the whole back part is covered with gypsum. You know? To glue them together. Depending on the weather, also cement can be used. Some. And then the papers are removed from the surface of the soil. And the prepared uh, soil is, uh, goes for the installation. Sometimes when it is supposed to travel a long way, they don't remove the paper. When it goes there, they wash it there. And thank you very much for your kind attention.